Bayern is a hairdryer thrown into a hot tub, my friend. Absolutely breathtaking. We'll send these people into their dreams tonight, thinking of heavenly things. Oh, let's like Betamax. YO2HD takes a close look and analyses of the explosive Belgian winger. Before we get started, be sure to smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell for more such amazing content. To begin with, the Belgian has been dubbed the new Eden Hazard by the media. Jeremy Doku was born and raised in Borgerhaus, a Belgian suburb of Antwerp. Jeremy has African, as African ancestors, as seen by his look. Jeremy Doku is of Ghanaian origin, despite being born in Antwerp's inner suburbs. At the young age of six, the quest to stardom began with Jeremy joining Tubansha Borgerout Academy before he chose to train at one of Antwerp's premier academies Beerschut AC, a renowned academy for launching young people into national prints. Anderlecht signed Jeremy in 2012 when he was only 10 years old and by the time he turned 15 he was already receiving offers from Europe's top clubs. In October 2020, he signed with Rennes and the winger's skills has grown dramatically since he arrived at that state Rennes football club. And just a month after the 17-year-old was called up a Belgian national team, where he netted his first goal for Belgium in the UEFA Nations. Lead three days after making his national debut. They go the step overs, he's got past two. Great trick. He may still be fairly raw in his talents, but the potential is massive as he has a natural ability on the ball. I don't like making comparisons, but he reminds me of the case of Sadio Mani at Metz. YO2HD is not the first person to compare Doku's talents to that of Sadio Mani, and in respect to the pair's pace and movement, you can see why. He is one of the youngest players ever to represent the senior Belgian national team. At the age of 16, Arsenal, Liverpool, Chelsea, Man City, Ajax, and PSV were interested. At which point Jurgen Klopp was impressed and said he saw Jeremy as a potential successor to Sadio Mani at the Liverpool. Ultimately, Doku decided to stay at Anderlecht after speaking with fellow Belgian Romelu Lukaku. It always seems inevitable that Liverpool will, at some point, sign flying Belgian winger. Jeremy Doku. The young attacker has been on Liverpool's radar for years and was even given a special tactical briefing by Steven Gerrard a few years ago before a deal to move to. Merseyside failed to materialize. Instead, Doku stayed in Anderlecht before earning a, a transfer to Rennes, where he continues to excel. He is unlikely to stay in France for the long term, however. Doku is usually deployed as a right winger, but can also play on left. Doku is now 19, but he has been on the radar of top clubs for at least five years due to his talents being spotted at an early age at Anderlecht. He is known for his explosive pace and his ability to beat a man in space before either crossing into the box or cutting inside. Good balance and strength as well, he's a strong man. He has moved to Rennes to continue his development, and at the moment it is Liverpool who still lead the race for his signature. Doku is contracted at Rennes until 2025, which means any club wanting to sign Jeremy will have to dig deep because he won't be cheap. The youngster, who loves to have the ball at his feet and is electric in his speed, was amply evident against Italy in the European Championship quarter-finals. He finished the game with more duels won, most fouls won and more completed dribbles than anyone else on the park. With Eden Hazard persisting injury problems now is the time for Jeremy to shot the international stage with Belgium. Oh, oh, oh my goodness! Absolutely bamboozles his defender.
Thanks for watching. Before you go, please remember to click that subscribe button, leave a thumbs up in the comment, and make sure to click that notification bell so you never miss our future uploads.